guys welcome back to the channel my name is yours and thank you for joining me today we got a quick one uh we're gonna do it based off gorpcore everybody's new favorite trend apparently so i'm from california i've been rocking gorpcore forever because we got tons of mountains here yosemite's around here hikes all over the place um so when i used to buy this stuff it wasn't for like fashion or like a sense of style it's just more of a functionality because it was just things that you needed weatherproof stuff windproof stuff so it's interesting that this kind of rise in fashion has been happening lately i think it's just like boils down to more utilitarian stuff easy to wear and also quality so a lot of brands that are associated with gore core like you know patagonia north face arcteryx which we'll be focusing on today uh, mammoth there's solomon there's a whole bunch so um i think it's the quality because it's made for heavy weather conditions so it should last you a lot longer it should so yeah it's cool to like buy the stuff secondhand thrifted places like rei actually sell used gear like on a secondary marketplace on their website which is pretty cool and i'll link that down below it's very interesting this trend and i'm kind of here for it 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 kind of already like jives with my style you know but today's video we're focusing on an arcteryx haul um i think out of all of the gorp core brands arcteryx is probably my favorite um i just like the aesthetic it's minimal the branding is minimal and i think it looks kind of cool it's just a dope logo so the prices can get kind of crazy but they also have like a lot of good i don't want to say lower end pieces but just like introductory pieces that could kind of get you into the brand so you can see how like what they're about yes quick video today I don't think wearing Arcteryx makes you like a Gorpcore guy. I think it's just, uh, you know, unless you're decked out in it all day, every day, rain, sun, whatever, head to toe, an Arc or Solomon or whatever, that might make you a little bit of a Gorpcore kind of guy. But I actually like blending it into like other fits, just kind of what's been going on and I'm here for it. So I went on a haul recently I had a bunch of old art pieces that were just kind of like sitting there a little beat up. So um, I actually got rid of them. I sold them a while ago and I'm kind of regretting it because I feel like the resale prices have gone up on all this stuff, but here we are. So I had to go on a haul. I wanted to uh, provide some content for you guys and also just re up on this stuff because I've been going hiking a lot more recently and out of necessity, I needed stuff, but also fashion, you know, it's fashion. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, one of my original pieces that I actually kept and it's one of my favorites and shockingly it's not black so yeah this is my adam lt hoodie and this is like super popular it's kind of like a staple in the arcteryx line um just your standard hoodie love it this is in like their green colorway which is kind of interesting for me because i don't wear a lot of color but um shout out to this adam lt hoodie and they actually have so if you're new to the brand which you probably aren't if you clicked on this video they have a whole bunch of different like um, acronyms product designations product categories and all that kind of stuff so you might get confused shopping for one of these because you might see adam lt sl you know all kinds of different acronyms so i'm actually going to go over those with you guys today just real quick so you kind of have like a brief breakdown again this is the adam hoodie and this has like a core loft. I think they call it core loft insulation. It's not super thick. It's actually still really light. And that's what LT actually stands for. It's uh, lightweight. They're super light, which we'll be touching on later on in this video. I actually have one of those. Yeah, those are just some of the acronyms that um, Arcteryx goes by in their product. Don't get too confused if you're seeing a bunch of like random letters at the end of the jackets. They actually do signify something. And it really is just meant for what you want to wear it for. If you're over here just wearing it as like street style, street wear, fashion type, you don't really need the heavy duty stuff. You can just go with something super light or even LT, depending on where you live and what kind of weather you're experiencing. So yeah, this is one of my first pieces. I'm so glad I kept it. I love this green color. I wear it to Yosemite all the time whenever I go. This is the Adam LT and it's perfect. Arcteryx Hall let's go i don't know why i keep doing this with my hand but whatever yeah next piece we got boring another adam jacket so it's literally the same jacket but it's in all black gone over it on the channel before i love black so 
uh yeah this is the atom lt this is literally the same spec jacket just in black i know super boring but um brand new i actually just got this from rei if you don't know rei is the plug for arcteryx deals so um they also have an rei outlet store which you can get good stuff from so if you don't already know hit up rei you could get good coupon codes you could use your rei bucks or whatever reward system they have and get good deals on arcteryx stuff so retail on this jacket is 259 which isn't crazy i mean it's a it's a good piece of kit like it's gonna last you a while so yeah and arcteryx obviously has a refurb program so you could send in stuff and they could help repair it or whatever you need to have done so yeah 259 is retail on this but you can get them on sale all the time like i said there's always coupon codes available so arcteryx lt hoodie just like the green one but in black all right let's go to the next one rapid fire Winston is moving his sheep rug. I think he got a little too hot. That's my dog, Winston. And yeah, he kind of just does whatever he wants. Because this is his house. So anyway, you guys, on to the next one. Forgive me for all the sounds. We call these tech wear noises. Gorp core sounds. Uh, <laughs> this is the Beta SL jacket. Um, the Beta line is a little bit more... I guess higher end than the Atom line, so they're a bit more expensive. I just got this from the REI outlet store, which we have here in California. This is more of a layering piece. It's more of like a shell, not so much like a standalone. I mean, you could wear it standalone as well, but the whole point of like Gorp Core and like Hiker Core and all this stuff with the performance like brands is layers. Layers are a big deal, especially when you're out hiking and doing all these like outdoor activities. So. You want to be able to take off stuff. You want to be able to put on stuff depending on the weather conditions and rain, snow, sleet, wind, whatever it is, sunshine, all that stuff. So yeah, this is more of a shell jacket. It's more waterproof than the Atom that I just showed you guys. It's a great piece. Got the simple Arcteryx logo branding here. This one's nice because it's embroidered. On the other ones, it was screen printed. This is the Beta SL. So SL stands for super light. And yeah, it is super light and it's easily packable just like their other stuff and i actually got this one um original price is 425 i paid 296 apparently at the outlet i don't remember i got it a couple months ago i just haven't worn it yet so and yeah arcteryx beta sl jacket it's just made super well it's got kind of this cool liner a bunch of tape seams good quality stuff and uh yeah shout out to arcteryx for making some dope stuff this is Gore-Tex too, I believe. Yeah, Gore-Tex. I knew it. Sorry, I'm not a pro with this stuff, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Fire piece. Let's go on to the next one in the hole. All right, you guys, next piece is this zip-up. This is like a, kind of like a fleece zip-up, has a hood on it. This actually has the Polar Tech lining in it. Keeps you super warm. Again, super lightweight and uh very durable it's kind of got this like nice stretch to it so you can layer on underneath that way it'll kind of like expand to whatever you need it to do um another great piece i got this used off of grailed and it was only like a 100 bucks so there are steels to be found and this is like barely worn so yeah arcteryx i don't remember the name please pull up fire piece and what's cool about this one too is i just realized it is it has a like a face mask built into the hood which is super cool i didn't really know what the heck this was before and then i'm um and i realized it way later so yeah i'll show you guys what that looks like that way you could just put it on if it's super windy or something you could just like pull that up that way you don't have to wear a mask all the time and it's part of your jacket you don't have to worry about it so arcteryx fleece hoodie jacket I don't know. Sorry, I can't keep up with all the names. Let's go. One more. Actually, two more ish. But yeah. All right, you guys. Next one. So this is another Adam hoodie. <laughs> Please don't hate me. Um, I love this jacket. It's just amazing. They make it in a million colors. Again, this is black, uh, just like the Adam LT I showed you guys. 
but this is an Adam SL hoodie. So this is their lightest version of this hoodie. The reason why I bought the same hoodie in the same color twice is because this is the lightweight version. So again, I live in California, so it doesn't get super cold here. It's sunny most of the time. And if I'm not going on a hike, I don't need a whole lot of like weatherproofing and warmth and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted the same, but I wanted just to be able to wear it more often because I get kind of hot. Actually, I'm sweating right now. This fire is killing me. So uh, yeah, I found the Adam LT, same jacket, same cut, same everything. But this is the LT, which means lightweight, uh, super lightweight. The best thing about, this is like my everyday throw on jacket if I don't want to wear some like, you know, fashion stuff. This is like my grocery store jacket. So the best thing about this is if you do have to take it somewhere, it packs down super small. Like that's insane. You know, this is a whole jacket and this is an XL. So it's not like the smallest ones. So Adam SL, my latest pickup, kind of re-pickup, duplicate. I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, Adam SL, Arcteryx, let's go. Part of the haul. And I have one more piece. It's kind of like a daily. I'm gonna show you guys this. It's not so much like Corp Corey, more as it is Jim Corey. I don't know, but it's still Arcteric. So let me go grab it real quick. We got the next piece here in the hall. It's a t-shirt. This is the Cormic Crew t-shirt is what I think they call it. Um, the thing about Arcteryx is they're such a huge brand now. They have a bunch of like actual lifestyle stuff. I know people use the jackets for gore core ish type of activities, but uh, they actually do have like a lifestyle brand and then they have like a high end brand called Valence, if you didn't already know, which is like even higher end than what they already have in their main line. So this is the Cormic Crew t shirt. It's got some cool like reflective details here on the sleeve. But yeah, this is a good layering shirt and also it's just a good gym shirt. And I try to go to the gym as much as I can, and this is like my gym shirt for most of the time amazing tea i have a whole bunch of them i have like a pile just sitting there so uh yeah it's a classic gym shirt i rock it all the time so that was the haul you guys i don't know am i like a gorp core kind of guy now am i like trendy and you know appropriating this type of culture i don't know i don't think so because i was rocking this stuff before it was cool god that was so cringy but uh yes I did buy it because I would go on hikes and it's just very interesting how everything like comes right back around into it being in style and it being a trend. So let's see where Gorp Core goes. Mostly just Arcteryx for me. I do have a pair of Solomons. Don't get me wrong. Some of the shoes are dope. These are the Solomon ACS Pro. This is the Vanilla Lunar Rock, I think. I'm trying to be informative, but I forgot. This is an Arcteryx video. This is just like a little bonus. So yeah, I bought these Solomons. They're pretty dope. They have this cool like lacing system here. I mean, if you're into the Gorp Core vibes, then you know about these already. Anyway, I digress. Welcome to the end of the video. Um, just want to do a quick one today. Show you guys the latest Arcteryx haul. Little fireside chat here. It's gloomy and rainy. So I figured I'd light up the fire and we just chill and talk for a little bit. Don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel my name is yervs appreciate you we do a lot of men's fashion content if you're new to the channel uh so please subscribe more stuff coming soon drop a comment below and let me know what you think which one of the pieces you like which one you hated which one you would just chuck in the garbage and i really want to know what you guys think about this gorp core thing like if this trend is going to stick around if it's just going to be some fleeting thing that we'll forget about next year um arcteryx is definitely going to stick around you know because they make high quality hiking and mountaineering gear and people just need that stuff it's not so much a fashion thing for a lot of people it's just a necessity so uh, but let me know what you think of the trend does this mean i'm does this mean i'm gorp core am i gorp core am i a gorp core guy i think i'm kind of a gorp core guy i don't know whatever i'm into this stuff it looks cool and uh it's functional that's the best part so thank you guys for joining sub to the channel more stuff coming soon we'll see you on the next one peace what's the goose brand